Hi guys, welcome back. Now we are going to discuss about listener. So what is basically listener? So listener is nothing but it actually it will listen always for particular state of a task or any event or any symbols. Okay, whatever we are seeing in the Kamunda modeler, right? So it 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 everything have some start and end state, right? May, for example, if you are taking user task, it may be it will start state it whenever the uh, process is arriving into user task, right? So whenever it is complete statements, once the process is going out of the task, right? So that is called end task, right? So like this for each and every event, symbols, whatever gateways, lot of stuffs are there. All the symbols having the some uh, some events will belongs to that, right? So maybe start at the end, whatever it may be, right? So it will always listen for the particular event when it will happen, happen. Once it is happening, these listeners will work and it will do the business logic basically. Okay, so this is called listeners. Okay, so there is two types of listeners basically it is there. Okay, so one is task listener and the another one is execution listener. Okay, so this task listener is belongs to only user task. Okay, not for others. But execution listener will belongs to all like whatever ta task or like a maybe timer setup or like any simples gateway uh, whatever it may be whatever you are going everything it will have the execution listener because execution listener will have only two state one is start and end so all the stuff will have start and end state right but the task listener it will applicable only for the user task why because user task only it will get created okay we can update the task. It means that maybe if you see, if you saw our earlier discussion, maybe we have a user screen where we can change the values and we can save that. So it means that we are updating the values, right? The variables. So then the assignment, maybe if I, if I am claiming the task, maybe I can assign to somebody. Okay. So that all the stuffs we can do it. Okay. Then timeout. If you see that timer, we usually will done with the timer also. If some timeout is happening, so I need to trigger something. I need to do some business logic. So and once it is complete, I need to do some business logic. Once it is delete, need to do some business logic. So this all the stuffs will belongs to task listener. So this is only applicable for the user task. Okay. So that's it. The basic understanding about listener is that's all. Listener is here. It will listen always for whenever some event is happening. Okay. So there is two types of listener: task listener and execution listener. So execution, so for the task listener, we can configure for create, update, assignment, timeout, complete, and delete. All this event we can call the task listener. But execution listener we can call only for a start and end events. Okay. So hope you understand understood about the basic stuff, right? Let's see the example how really we can achieve that. Okay, what is the real use of that? We can see in the example, okay. Let me go into Okay, let me go into our example earlier, whatever we are seeing. Let me go the same sample. Okay, so here I'm going to, if I, if I click here, right? And if I go to properties panel, see, you can see the listener tab, right? Right, so as this is a service task, only execution listeners are there, correct? If I go to this user task, you can see execution listener as well as task listeners. Right. If it is send task again, only execution listener. As I told, only user task and have the both task listener as well as execution listeners. Okay. I hope you got it right. Let's see one example how we can write the listeners and how it is really it is working. So the all the stuff we'll see. Okay. Maybe let me write listeners in this user task. Okay. So the, here we can add two listeners. Right. So one is execution listener, task listener. Let me add it out two listeners. Okay. So if I go, for, if I click new, right? So it is asking Java class. Okay. What is the event type start listener or end? Because this is execution, right? So let me go for start Java class. I need to provide on Java class. Okay. I can do that. Okay. Let me provide some Java class. So before that, what Java class I can provide here? This is listeners, right? Not a normal Java, right? So we need to think about it. So for that, we can write a execution listener as well in a Java. Okay. For that, what we need to do, we need to write a Java class. Okay. And we need to implement the execution listener interface. That's all. Okay. Yeah. Let's see the example. Let me, let, let's go there. 
okay for example let me create a package new package okay so sorry not a class let me create a new package com dot blocks dot overflow dot las designers okay let me create this package okay let me create a class maybe called might be sample execution listener okay so let me create that on the let me implement that what is that execution listener i need to implement it okay execution listener okay this is the interface i need to implement this okay that's all i can finish it okay so you can see here nicely it is created on class and it is giving you the one method called notify right so whenever so this process is arriving into the execution is arriving into this user task and whenever the event type is start it will notify this class and whatever business logic you are going to write here you can write it that will execute okay maybe if you are selecting end so once the task is ending then it will call okay let me go with start Okay, let me. I'm not going to do any business logic now. Let me just print the value, print some logic. Okay, system dot out dot println. Uh, welcome to execution listener. Something I am giving. Okay. Okay, so just to understand that it is executed or not. Okay, so I am done with that. So this is what execution listener. Okay, then let me go and. Uh, okay so okay let me give the class name first of all there sample copy qualified name okay so i just copied that i'm going into commander modeler i'm just giving that okay why it is not copied copied qualified name then i'm going to commander modeler okay now got it okay so i'm saving that okay then the second stuff task listener i'm going to create one more task listener as well if you see here create assignment complete delete update timeout all the stuff is right right let me do it when i'm completing this task okay let me a listener id no need okay let me call a java class and let me create a class for that first of all so again i need to create a class example task listener okay let me create whatever you name you want you can name it out no nothing to worry about it okay so here i need to add the class implementation of okay i need to add the implementation of what so again here task listener is there okay for that execution listener for here task listener okay so make sure you are importing the right task listener there is two task listener i can able to see that actually okay so we need to import this delegate okay so first impl not implementation the normal delegate okay so i'm just importing that um, and i'm finishing that okay again here also you are getting nice notify method and everything it is giving okay your eclipse is doing awesome work right let me stop this server before that okay okay so here also i'm just giving some logic okay system dot out dot printer done okay welcome to task listener once task is completed it has to trigger okay make sure that okay let me copy the class sorry the qualified name right copy qualified name and let me go into my commander sorry commander modeler java class okay so that's all okay so i added two listeners one is task listener and one other one is execution listener okay let's execute this and let's see that is that really calling or not okay so first of all let me save this okay then let me go to project let me start the server maybe before that i th actually i think so i need to refresh my project properly so that it is getting reflected every time okay let me refresh and i just started the server let's see that okay my tom got started i'm going into my project okay so localhost 8080 
okay so my commit id sorry my usernames i'm giving okay okay so let me go to open cockpit and i can see that what is the task listening right okay here we give a name let let let's try that task list create a start a process of task learning okay let me start that okay once i start that so it will where it was there now it should assign data so once it is reaching here itself it should print the execution listener because execution listener we are assigned at the time of start event right the start event itself it is printing that okay so once i complete this right it has to go for a task listener right so because what we gave it in the task listener at the time of task completion right let me clear the log so once i complete it the first step it has to print that welcome to task listener right hope you understood right so this is what the listeners so here you can do any logic maybe you can capture the values from the task uh, and you can do some business logic then you can pass the values into other system that also you can do it so all the stuffs okay so uh, everything actually so this delegate task is the place where you can see for example if you want to know that what is the event you trigger it get event name so they are giving them stuffs actually so the execution listeners as well so if you, if you are going that execution listener get event name so you can you can print the here start event will be there their complete event will be there that all the stuffs you can print it out okay hope you understood about execution listener and task listener right so okay so the make sure that other tasks and other symbols it won't have the task listener only user task will have the task listener okay make sure make sure understand that one clear okay thanks guys thanks for watching bye bye let's see next video bye